Spidey goes back to black for a comic book day release. Here's your look at the Diamond Select Spider-Man Gallery Black Costumed Spider-Man. High school student Peter Parker was bitten by an irradiated spider while attending a scientific demonstration, and whether by chance or by fate, that bite gave him the proportionate strength and speed of a spider. Dedicating his life to stopping the guilty and protecting the innocent, Peter became the amazing Spider-Man, a misunderstood and often maligned hero of New York City, and one of many Spider-Man across the multiverse, while an all-out adventure across the galaxy, Spider-Man took a new symbiotic costume, but the creature's attachment to the hero became too strong, forcing Spider-Man to reject it and adapt a synthetic version. This free comic book day exclusive, 9-inch scale Marvel Gallery PVC diorama of Spider-Man in his black costume is based on his comic book appearance and features a high level of detail and exacting paint applications. It is in scale to all the other gallery and femme fatales PVC figures. Now, this is a slightly different type of statue. Normally, you would see Spider-Man upright, but this one is one that you'll actually pose exactly the way you see it right here. So, for that, we're going to go ahead and take the dimensions, and I'm first going to start with how tall Spider-Man is. I'm far surpassing the building scapes on either side, instead favoring where his hand would roughly stop. And I'm going to stop it right there, and according to the tape measure, you're looking at the statue from here to right about here, standing at about 7.7 .7 inches in height. Let's go ahead and beeline that over to centimeters. Centimeters, you're looking at about 20 centimeters, 19.7 to be exact. Where are you going? Where are you going, asks the mob. Well, I'm actually going back to inches because I want to figure out how long the statue is. So from tip to tip, wall to wall, building to building. I'm going to stop it right there. And I think it's safe to say from one end of the building to the other, the width of Spider-Man, you're looking at 10 inches exactly, which in centimeters, once again, looks to be about 25 and a half, 25.6 to be exact. Of course, everybody and their mother, there are some really cool moms out there that dig comic books, will know that comic book day is May 4th. The first Saturday, in fact, of May, May 4th, 2019, marks free comic book day. And like the title will pretty much indicate, it's a day for you to go in and support your local comic book stores, but also get in there and get free comic books. Above and beyond simply just going in and get free comic books, companies are also producing exclusives, seeing the potential for tapping into the market of people going to their comic book days on or comic book stores on the day of comic book day. So Diamond Select have thrown their proverbial hat into the mix and have released the black costumed Spider-Man. This one is exclusive and limited to 5,000 copies. So basically once this sells out, shy of of course scoping it out online, it would be very hard, hard pressed to find this one after the fact. So check your local comic book stores when you get the chance on comic book day and see if you can grab this one for yourself. This is a really neat looking statue and probably the big reasonings for that is the fact that Spider-Man is sporting 
clad in his black costume, one of my all-time favorite costumes for the wall crawler. What's really neat about this particular setup I don't even want to say diorama, but like the statue as a whole is the way that they've depicted Spider-Man. Normally, like I said, when you get a, sta a statue of Spider-Man, he's probably leaning against a building. A building is upright. He's kind of leaning off the edge. Here is an instance where you're taking that perspective and you're flipping it the opposite way. Now you've got Spider-Man actually bridging the gap in between two sides of the building and he's actually suspending himself on top of that. That's pretty cool, I have to admit. You can also see as well that there is this uh, city street lamp uh, that's projecting down. And of course, he's bridged between the two buildings. There's the one side and there's the other side right there. I guess this would be not necessarily an alleyway. I, you don't often at times see street signs, street lamps down an alleyway. So again, he's kind of bridging it in between two buildings. Uh, what's neat about it though, is if you look at the webbing, how intricate the webbing is, even though it doesn't really have any coloring to it, it's kind of a nice smoky translucent plastic. In fact, almost, in fact, almost, you can see my hand passing through it. No, that's not magic. That's the way it was crafted. I really do like that quite a bit, and it's different. It's not something you'd normally expect to see your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man depicted in. Now, there is no way that you can mount this to the wall. Ideally, that would be awesome as well if they could find the means to attach this to the wall. But I guess my one concern would be if that was the case. I don't know, putting a lot of weight on the one side, well, the weight would be on this side, but putting a lot of the required uh, stress marks on this side to hold the statue upright, I could certainly, ex I could see why now it wouldn't have put anything on the side to mount this to the wall. Instead, you're sort of just to lay it down, and Spider-Man is kind of on an angle. Part of me also thinks it would have been neat if the, the building face, this part underneath, could have been just a little bit higher so it didn't sit completely on an angle. Either way, though, like I said, it's got some really great detail. And also, in addition to that, it's got a lot of cool-looking paint. I like the fact that on one side you've got the rusted pipes and a dry brushing of silver against the backdrop of what I can only guess to be the black plastic that this was molded on. You flip it around though and it's finished on this side which is a nice feat. It's not sadly finished on this side and I guess in theory you could probably prop it this way as well but that would look yeah, that would look a little on the ridiculous side. The only reason why I said that as an entertaining idea is because this side is flat. There's no texturing, there's no sculpting on this side whatsoever. Getting some closer details, we've already looked at and fully in enjoyed the cool translucent effect that this webbing uh, conveys here in the statue form. But I really also do like the way that the lamp just gives you some extra pop of color. Because if not for that, most if not all the colors on this statue would be grays, blacks, and whites. The green also adds just a little bit of extra pop, just something to entertain your vision as you're looking with your peepers to the statue in front of you here. Now again, we looked at the fact that the building faces on both sides seem to be pretty well painted. This side again, omitted for whatever would be sculpted on the other side there. And then we, of course, can look at Spider-Man. Now, I really do like his pose. I think his pose is top-notch. It's the kind of perched-over pose that you would expect Peter Parker to have. That's a whole lot of peas. Uh, it doesn't really seem to have a whole lot of paint to it. That's another pea. Uh, there is a little bit of lighter coloring, it seems, around the <clears throat> buttocks area of Spider-Man. And also, I notice around the side here, there's a little bit lighter shading down the lower torso of Spider-Man. Other than that, though, most, if not all, the coloring on Petey here is actually just all black. Of course, with his trademark black costume, he's got his all-white spider lenses for his mask. He's got the white symbiote featured on the front, and equally so on the back. And of course, he's got his trademark squares featured on his pants. There's the one right there, and there's the other one right there. I guess one thing I would have loved to see also the statue possess is larger lenses. I know I'm a sucker when it comes to like the McFarlane style of Spidey where he's got the larger eyes. I know based on his earlier appearances wearing the black costume, he would have had smaller lenses, but 
And again, that's just my own personal preference. Again, I really do like the look and flow of this particular Spidey. It's one thing that Diamond Select does so well. Not only are they releasing statues at an affordable price, being of course this is made of comprised of PVC plastic, but additionally to that, they're always really good at nailing poses. Like that's an iconic pose for Spider-Man. Leaning down, of course, from the lamp shade and again, the webbing of the bridge of webbing he's, he's standing on top of. And you can kind of imagine that he's leaning down, kind of looking at the civilians and criminals that are passing underneath him here. Now, just a friendly reminder from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man that May 4th, 2019 marks free comic book day. Swing on over. There's probably going to be a few more Spidey puns and final looks here. Swing on over to your local comic book shop. Not only does it support your local stores, but in the process of doing that as well, you can get yourself some free swag. Free comics, that is. While you're also at it and picking up some free comics, make sure you pick up some of the exclusives that some of the companies are producing specifically for free comic book day. For this, Diamond Select has gone back to black, giving one of my all-time favorite looks for Spidey in a symbiote PVC diorama statue. Sure, I know there's always the love for the classic costume, but admittingly so, my all-time favorite costume for Spider-Man has been the black costume. And this statue is quite amazing. I've done it again. This statue is neat because not only does it give us the black costume, well, black costume Spider-Man, but it also gives us a rather unique way to present him. Normally, you'll have Spider-Man either standing or swinging or leaning from the side of a wall face. Here, instead, you've actually got him perched over, kind of like a predator looking over its prey. And he's leaning over from a bridge that he's made out of webbing, connecting two buildings together. It's a really neat look. And I actually kind of like now, looking at it more and more, the fact that they've got it on a slight angle. It kind of gives them a much more imposing presence when you have them on your display shelf. Again, I can't stress this enough, though. If you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, it is limited to 5,000 copies worldwide. So as soon as it's gone, it's gone, Jack. You're never going to get it back. I realized there I just rhymed. Uh, today, though, we were having a look at the exclusive. This was the Diamond Select Marvel Gallery Symbiote PVC Diorama of Spider-Man. Quite rather spectacular. Okay, I'll stop doing that. Speaking of free comic book days, uh, you guys always ask me, what do what comic book stores do you go to in your area? Well, I'll actually do one better. I'll put the address just down below in the video description of the comic book, short, uh, comic book store that I go to on a regular basis. It's called Comic Warehouse. And actually, the, f the folks over at Comic Warehouse to celebrate free comic book day, I've also offered you guys a coupon code. So if you are in the area and you want to be able to swing on over to the comic book shop that I go to on a regular basis, you can go to the comic warehouse and use the coupon code spot save 10 and get 10% off your, your entire purchase. So if you are interested and you wanted to get the Spider-Man for yourself, save 10%. That's not bad at all. Like I said, guys, free comic book day, mark it on your calendar, mark it on your arm. If you're going to mark it on your arm, though, do make sure you know, at some point you're going to wash it because that's, you know, hygiene and all. That's kind of gross. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. More videos and more statue reviews will be coming soon to this channel, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.